Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Mexico City. I'm here with my friend Alejandro. Hi. And it's beautiful like M6 with a 35, what is 3.5? 3.5. Looks really awesome. And today will be a special episode because Alejandro gave me this camera to try out. It's a point and shoot medium format camera. It's a Fuji 645, uh, what is it, a GA 645W. So it's a um, 45 mm lens, which is pretty much like a 28. So for me, this is almost perfect. Uh, it has autofocus and all these things. Um, so yeah, let's give it a try. And of course, I will need some film. And the film that I'm going to shoot today is uh, also a film that someone gave me here in Mexico, uh, Ricardo. Thanks, Ricardo, for the film. It's Fuji Reala 100. It's <laughs> it um, expired in 93, which is like pretty crazy. Uh, so I have no idea how it was stored. So I will, in this camera, I will set the uh, ISO to 25 and overexpose by one stop. So I'm roughly at ISO 12 or something like that. Uh, and I will also use the flash. Um, this camera has a built-in flash, so I'm going to use that. And yeah, exactly. Thanks. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. And also on top of that, uh, after finishing this roll, um, it's a very experimental roll. It might not turn out, so let's see. I have another uh, nice film here. It's also a Fuji film, so it fits the camera perfectly. It's Fuji Acros. And it's the... Where is it? Oh, it doesn't say new. Okay, I have another box where it says new Acros. Uh, because it's not the new one, the Acros 2. It was new back then because this expired in 2005, so it's also pretty old. Uh, I will let you know later how I'm going to expose this. Let's first try the Riala and see how it goes. So I'm really excited. He also has a, um, a Fuji camera, like the similar one, but with a zoom. It's like a 35 to 50. 35-50, so it's like minimal zoom, <laughs> just slightly a zoom. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, do this. So I would say without further ado, Fuji Reala, Fuji, GA605W, Mexico City, let's go. Gracias. Developing and scanning was kindly provided by Carmen Sita Film Lab. If you want to check them out, the link will be in the description box down below. <laughs> the film was developed normally and even though I overexposed it by three stops, it wasn't enough. Over the years, the films must have lost a lot of its sensitivity. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I woke him up. <laughs> the autofocus is just too loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you probably already know that this is a shot I had to take. It was kind of weird seeing this person taking a nap in the grass. But I'm quite happy how this result turned out. Alright guys, that's uh, the, ru the ro rule, the, the role of uh, Reala, Reala 100 um, so far. Um, it's interesting to shooting this camera. Um, the autofocus takes a little bit of time, it's not too bad, but it's really hard to get can cannon shots with this, also because uh, it's very no kind of noisy. And one thing I've noticed that is not ideal, the flash, um, it's automatic, so you can just force the camera to use the flash, so sometimes it, the flash will not fire. But it's alright, so... But still, it's good fun, but, but I think keeping it this direction is pretty odd and uh, you have to get used to it, but it's a fun camera. I mean, if you get the chance to try one out, you should really do it. Uh, it's so lightweight, so carrying it around, is, uh, it's a breeze. And now it's time to load up the Acros 100 into this camera and shoot that. And I will probably shoot it at maybe 20, 50 and we'll have it pushed two stops in the lab, so then that should give me some really nice results. Maybe I should also use it without the flash, so let's see. All right, 
So we just found out that uh, actually you can use manual focus. You have to press uh, here. Um, you might be able to pick it up here if you press AF. Now it's manual focus, then you press down here. And then you can change the distance. Now it's like infinity, 10 meters, 5 meters. But yeah, it's pretty hard to use. So I think I will probably stick to autofocus because uh, of the low ISO and stuff. So this will be probably shoot um, wide open all the time. So it will be really hard to get the distance right. So I think autofocus might be the better option here. So let's try and use autofocus again. Okay, now let's use manual focus. I want to try. I set it to what's the minimum? Let's see. Yeah, 1.5. I think so. What? That's... No. No. Wow. Let's set it to one meter. And let's uh, give it a go. I set it to one meter and I set the aperture to f8. When you set the distance and tap the shutter, the camera will then set the lens to the distance you dialed in. It will keep it there and the next shots you take, they will be taken instantly without any delay. Perfect, man. Oh, look here, here. I got, I got a shot here. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy sitting on the table here. He is badass, man. The film was pushed by the lab to 400, which is something I usually do when shooting Fuji Acros 100. With a fresh roll, I meter usually for 100 or 200 and then have it pushed two stops, which gives me great results. Oh my god. Okay, let's go back. Here color would have worked a lot better, but nevertheless this will still look so alien in the future, that's for sure. Oh, there's a photo here. Hey, 
And it looked so cool because you could see his face in the mirror. I don't know if you would see it in the photo, yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't really can make out his face in the photo, but that was to be expected. Oh, look, look, look. Here it would have been better to manually dial in the shutter speed to get less motion blur. say the camera is really fun to shoot and man if the photos turn out this might be an option for me as well uh, even though it's an electronic it has electronics in there and if they die then the camera is pretty much worthless you can't use it anymore but yeah I mean I don't know like shooting with this uh, manual focusing was okay not perfect but it kind of worked so you've seen the photos already I haven't <laughs> So I would say without further ado, now you will see my favorite images from this episode and I will continue shooting with the Q2 Monochrome. Alright, see you later. Alright guys, that's it, at least for the shooting part of the video. I have to say I'm really surprised how this uh, guy here turned out, the Fuji Reala 100, considering that it expired in 93. And I asked Ricardo uh, how it got, was stored and he said he bought, the, he bought it brand new and it was stored in room temperature, not in a fridge. So yeah, I mean, that's totally acceptable how the results um, turned out. Um, I shot it at ISO 12, but it was not still wasn't enough and there was no way I can shoot it even lower than that. So I think that was probably the, get, the best I could get out of this film here. Regarding the camera, um, it's been a couple of weeks since I shot this episode and I have to say the camera is fun to use, but the thing is, because you have to turn it upside down to get horizontal shots, which I usually do, and as you could see in the episode, I shot a lot of uh, photos in portrait orientation, which is pretty odd for me. Um, I don't know, I probably did it because I'm so used to holding the camera this way and not turning it upside down. Yeah, I don't know, I, I have no idea if I could get used to that. Um, and also, it's in a full electronic camera. I mean, if the electronics break, it's uh, not usable anymore um, and it's not cheap. The camera, I looked it up on eBay and it's uh, between 700 to 1000 euros. So it's not really cheap and there are a lot of compromises. The manual focus, focusing on this camera is not great. So honestly, uh, I don't know if this is good, a good camera, would be a good camera for me for shooting street. The focal length is great and that you can get uh, 15 or 16 shots out of one roll is also pretty good. But still, I'm not sure if that's the best camera for me for street photography because I'm pretty much considering to buy a new uh, medium format camera that I can also shoot on the streets. It has to be lightweight. Um, yeah, that camera was lightweight. I mean, there's other options out there. So, and there will be another one coming and maybe next week or the week after where I also shoot uh, medium format. It's also a camera that I was looking for for a while to shoot um, and it finally happened. So watch out for that. And yeah, now I would say I will show you the results. Um, I, have, I have the prints here and I have to say, I mean, you can, you can tell it's medium format because the, the prints look awesome. I mean, the quality is really good, um, man. Especially the Acros, even though it uh, expired uh, in 2000. Five, I think, or six. It turned out great. I mean, it's basically like fresh. And one roll only cost me uh, roughly two dollars, which is crazy. I mean, if you consider what a brand new roll or a new of the new Acros cost, Acros two, it's like uh, 10, 12, or even more. So it was a bargain. And they had, I think, they had more on, uh, back there in the store. So, I, but I had no room. Otherwise, I would have picked up pretty much all of them because I love Acros and push to 400, it looks awesome. 
as you just saw in the episode and also in these prints here. But before I show you the prints, um, a quick reminder, you can still pick up one of my street photography zines, not shot on medium format, but also on film. This one on the Hasselblad x -Pen, which is also a big format, medium format like, and this one shot on the M6 in Egypt. All right, guys, let's continue with the prints. All right, guys, here are the prints. And as always, you can win a print. Just simply leave a comment below this video in the first 24 hours this episode goes live. And you can win one of these uh, photos from the episode um, as a final print, and I will ship it to you for free worldwide. All right, guys, here's the first one. And it's the expired film, the Fuji from 93. <laughs> Super old, I, I think. That's the oldest film I've ever shot. So, but it turned out okay, not perfect, but okay. And this shot, I quite like um, because the look the camera gave me here, this was shot wide open at f4, but still the, the depth of field is pretty shallow. So this reminds me on shooting the 28 mil at f2. So on my Leica, so it's very similar look. And yeah, I'm quite happy with this. I, I also like the colors. I don't know if this, um, is how the film looked back in the days or the color shifted because it's expired for so long and it's probably the case but yeah that's the only color photo i included in this uh selection here and let's hop on to the next one <laughs> and it's uh this one here this might be my favorite shot from the episode it's quite funny i mean it's kind of creepy <laughs> uh to see <laughs> to see uh, pennywise in here um and it had to get the shot when i saw the scene I needed to get that uh, because yeah, it looks really funny, and the girl is girl is smiling, and he looks creepy, and she looks sh a little freaked out. So yeah, and the hand here with the crazy fingernails, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. And I don't know if you can pick it up here in the video, but the details here are so great, and it's medium format, so it's a big negative, and also the contrast from the across, um, it's really nice. I mean, this is pretty much perfect, I would say. And also, of course, Come and See That did a great job of uh, developing and scanning um, the negatives. And this one here, yeah, I mean, I like the scene. It's a pretty cool moment. And maybe you you picked it up in the video, uh, but after I took the shot, they she saw me taking the photo and <laughs> they had to laugh really hard, and which was really funny. So yeah, quite happy with this one here. And this shot. Unfortunately, you can make out his face in the mirror here. Um, I hope that it would, but yeah, I mean, it's much darker than everything else in here. So that's probably why you cannot see it, but still, I think it's funny with the lag hanging out here and the, the pretty much white sneaker. All right, and last but not least, uh, this shot here. And it's really funny, she's a waitress, but for some reason, I would say if somebody would show me the photo with maybe this part missing, she almost looks like a nurse. So uh, in 20, 30 years from now, people will look at this like, what the hell is this? I mean, it doesn't make sense. She looks like a nurse, but she could also be a waitress, which she was. But yeah, it's kind of weird. So that is the last shot I wanted to show you from the episode. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. If you have any recommendation for a medium format camera, that has a focal length compared to, a uh, to a 35 mil in the range of 28 to 30 mil, um, except maybe Mamiya 7 because I'm fully aware of the camera. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And it has to be lightweight. That's uh, very important because for traveling, so no two kilo camera uh, would be better if it's like one kilo or less. Yeah, and that's hard. There's not many cameras out there that are so lightweight, but there are a few, but if you know something, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.